What's up, YouTube? It's your man, and no, from Alien Orchard, and I'm back with you with a how to video. And today we're focusing on how to draw a character from Sausage Party. The movie just came out, it's pretty cool, and I'm going to show you guys how to draw a character. All right, let's get started. All right, first, we got to get everything set up first. We got to get our pencil right. So, this is our pencil, pencil tool. And then I like to draw on five point zero zero because um that's I like a strong line weight. Leave it on solid, um smooth on eighty, basically, um normal. Um so let's get started. So first what I like to do is before anything I like to draw the eyes. So we're just gonna draw a pair of eyes right now. Alright. Kind of circle but not really like um overly shape and just a round overly shape like something like that maybe delete that and maybe perfect it a little bit more maybe something like this yeah that's that's more like it and then usually you know you want to make the character have so, show some expression show that they're they're alive so I like to do a facial expression like this something of this of this caliber take this put it right here so this is just the eyes right now so let's draw the pupils I'm gonna draw mine looking at a direction where you choose to draw yours is is up to you but um something like that you know and also um if you're if you're new to drawing take your time like don't worry about don't worry about um making it perfect in the beginning or trying to impress anybody because at the end of the day, you're doing this for you. And since I can't draw that circle too perfect, I'm going to use a circle tool. So let me um exit that. So I'm going to use a circle tool because I'm trying to make my circle perfect. And it's not really coming out right now how I want it. So once I get that done, I'm going to zoom out, see what I have. All right, cool. Now I'm going to draw the eyebrows. Eyebrows can be any. You can make it angry if you want. You can make it sad. I'm going to make mine like curious. I'll make mine curious. Something like that. You know, even sections. And I'm going to choose an expression like a, like a interesting, embarrassed, but nervous expression something like that I want to check if everything is in order first I want to make all my lines right everything smooth everything perfect so yeah that's good and now I'm gonna draw the teeth since he's a cute little character I'm gonna give him a sort of a gap in the middle of his teeth so I'm just gonna go like that draw his teeth and then draw the bottom row of the teeth like as you can see I'm trying to make this character as cute as possible you know as cute as possible then after I'm gonna eat them you know cuz it's a hot dog and they're born to die well that that was kinda cold but you know what I mean anyways Take it back. Now you draw the outer lines. I have to check something to see if everything's in order. So I'm going to do this. To so check that my line weight is in order, everything's in order. It seems to be in order. Now I'm going to draw the top of the head. I'm going to go up like this. Actually, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go up like this. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna go down to the side to make him look a little unique. Now he's a little unique. So as you can see, just one solid movement basically. And now this is the other part. I'm gonna draw like that. Perfect. Now that that's done, I'm going to give him a little tuxedo, you know, because I feel like it. I'm going to just give him a little bit more of an expression, 
you know something like that draw then you draw that in the bottom and you keep this simple right here this part is a succedo nothing big it's, it's, a, it's a, like at the end of the day it's a cartoon right let me redo that at the end of the day it's a cartoon so you can make it look however you want there's no rule of how a, a character should look like this is not real life this is a cartoon right so that's not working for me so I'm gonna make it like this actually I'm gonna actually do this I don't have to always do that part so I'm gonna make it like this and now I have the basis of the top of the tuxedo the other parts I just make a circle one one two three that's the bottom part tuxedo and let's get this part done the blazer parts like people like to call it I don't wear suits so I have to really go off of memory this is the side so once this part is complete you basically have the basis for your hot dog now draw the bottom finish the bottom part now you have that okay now you have that part now we're going to start coloring it the color is basically a uh, I'll say type of color I'm gonna work with is a hot dog color I mean that's kinda of weird to say but um something of this range something like this so I'm gonna color it in that's like a hot dog right and remember when you're coloring a flash make sure to have this section right here close large gaps so that way you can be able to close gaps like this like these little gaps I have gaps everywhere but the good thing about flash especially if you have CS5 or anything up to, anything beyond CS5 the good thing is that you can um, close gaps with that tool it's like a life it's like a lifesaver because when I first started using flash I didn't have the option so now we're gonna color the eyebrows and the bottom of the eyelids so like we use this color right here darker color something like that I might make it a bit a little darker to make it look like in the black side so something like that and for the bottom part of the eye I'm gonna do the same thing but make it a little lighter something like this yeah so now this contrast between that but I might make it a little lighter just my preference I'm very iffy about things like this so once that part is done I can start to color inside of the mouth you can use a regular color black I like to use off gray like a lighter I like to make contrast so I'm gonna zoom in just so I can get everything right so I don't color things I don't have to color so that's colored in now I can color the inside of the eyes. I'm actually going to use maybe actual black to make him look more cuter. So you see, we have the bases done right here. So now I'm going to color the tuxedo the same way. Basically, I'm going to connect the bottom. Connect the bottom because this is the part that the, the camera won't see. Or if you're doing animation, the camera or the bottom part won't see. So you can do it like that. The people won't see this part, so it's so it's cool to do that. And now you color, color it in, make him as cute as possible. You know you gotta be cute, right? You know. So you zoom in to get the little parts find out. I'm gonna use this right here. Yeah, so I'm color that in. See, you always gotta tune it up a little bit because you never wanna. I mean, as an artist, I can say. I always want to make it look perfect as possible without being too picky because at the end of the day it's not even about if anybody else sees a mistake about it is if I when I see a mistake I know it's a mistake and no matter every time I stare at that drawing or see how people react to it I'm always gonna say damn I could have done better than that you know I could have fixed that part so instead of saying I could have would have and regretting things might as well take care of it while the cost time is low, while you don't have to think about it again. So I'm going to zoom in to get all the whites because 
you never know make sure everything is colored in so this is colored in all the whites making pearly whites you know a hot dog with teeth is kind of creepy if you think about it but um that's why we do this that's why we animate that's why we love what we do right and if you haven't subscribed to alien orchard you know feel free I'm gonna be coming up with new drawing tutorials how tools just to get my people finer tuned with the art world and if you're interested in animation just to get your leg going you know it's a great thing to know if you want to be an artist or if you're just curious about drawing in general so now that I have this I want to go now now this basically could be done to some people this is like done but I want to make it more 3d I want to make it pop out so this is what I do I take the color I have already and I make a sh I make shadows just to make it pop out a little bit maybe make it a little darker so I'm going to draw a line from right here to like about here right here about um, I'm gonna add some more shadows so I might do something like this and don't mind the background noise it's my air conditioner is um, pretty hot in the office right now so I'm gonna go in here do that I fix that a little bit more yes yeah, so now we have that down I'm gonna I might add some to the eyes itself. I'm not sure. I might add some shadow to the eyes. Let me see how that's going to look. So let me do this. Something like that. So just to make it more pop up, you know, just not don't, don't like so that it doesn't look too flat. I could do that too, actually. That's not bad. You see, mistakes always come out good sometimes. Oh, I could do that. Let me see how that looks again, people. Yeah, that's nice. It looks like he's looking into a shadow area. But we just stick to this for now. Maybe the next time I'll show you how to do that part. So you color the sides. So now everything looks good. Um, What else do we want to do? I might add some shadows to the bottom of the eye. So I'm going to select the color again, go up to my color mixer, make it a little darker. Okay. And come down to the eye, zoom in a little bit. And if you have a pencil at home or anything else, you can do that too. Like you don't have to use, um, you don't have to use flash or use the computer. You can do this with a pencil and pen. Just follow the, the, the instructions and you can get the character perfect or any other character as a matter of fact and now um just get a I look at little tweaks like when you zoom in you see things you don't usually see when it's um zoomed out so I like to scope it out a little bit uh what else I see a little thing right here let's delete that um remember artists always save your work always save your work um what else so now i'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow on this part make it a little gray like that about an inch so i come down here come down right here come down right here perfecto and now i might do a little shadow for the bow tie to give it some contrast and do that. Start from the side, go down here, down here, right here. Perfect. Now color that in. And don't worry about making a mistake. Um, you know, if it's your first time, you'll be fine. Just follow the instructions. You'll be good. Yeah, let's color that in. And what else? Everything looks up to par. Um, 
pretty much. Let's zoom out to see if we got anything else. Yeah, everything seems up to par. And we just drew a character from Sasha's Party. The cutest character in the whole movie. I suggest you go see the movie. It's pretty good. It's awesome. Don't forget to subscribe um, if you like this content or if you want to see any other videos on, on our channel. Be sure to check it out. Um, hit the like button. Comment if you have any suggestions on the next how to draw video or you're curious about a character that you would like to draw. Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Come back next time. Alien Orchard. You know. Out. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, hit subscribe or just watch more videos.